Hello and welcome back! In today's video we're gonna build and paint the famous F1 17 Nighthawk. I'm starting with nice resin seed from Quick Boost. The only problem with it is that I need to cut off the size rails from original part. After it the assembling of the cockpit is super easy and straightforward. I starting to paint this dark grey color that I mixed from natto black and white from Tamiya. Then I mask all grey areas and paint it with natto black the rest of the cockpit. Decals are a little bit hard and thick in this kit, but anyway it's not a big problem, as cockpit gonna be closed. After it I painted all of lovely details of resin seat and panels. Then of course coat of glass varnish for protection and a smooth base for wash. As usual I use stone grey for black panel line wash from Amomig and some black wash from Tamiya in areas with deepest shadows. I always do some minor assemble while painted or glued part drying. It helps to save a lot of time. After all was dried, I covered cockpit with matte varnish, assemble it and glue it to place. And then I did a mistake. Not to myself. If parts have different colors, just prime it first. I thought I was smarter than that and started to paint white straight away. And I wasted so much time and paint and after all the result was not good at all. So I primed all parts that you see and painted it all, all, all over again. So. Don't do like I did, just prime all parts and it will be good. Bombs was painted with olive drop from Mammomic and yeah, it's kinda boring, so let's move to other step. Actually, all this build is very straightforward, very easy, so I skipped or speed it up the most boring parts. So like you see you see it's simple kit, right? Very, very simple. <laughs> So let's move. The only problem was the seam line where two half of fuselage meets. I again thought I'm the clever one and used too much super glue, because I thought it will help me to avoid using Tamiya putty, only to use it in the end. And, and god I hate sanding, but I sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand, yeah. Yeah, I sent a lot. So after it, the rest of the build was quite fast. Um, you know, after all, it's just kind of a big triangle. Mm -hmm. 
Time I added canopy mask to this kit and can't say how great it is. It can be just pure nightmare to mask this kind of canopy without it. Then I painted canopy with natto black and the model was ready to paint. Starting with Mr. Surfacey black because because it's plain kind of black, so it made painting process much easier. But I didn't use pure black, instead my favorite netto black. It looks much better and less boring. Then I added around 20-30% of buff to light up basic color and start fading. Usually I prefer post shading and painting because I can easily correct any mistake in further steps. So you will see it soon. For shading I used very diluted black from Tamiya around 10% of paint and 90% of leveling thinner and air pressure around 10 PCI. After it, it's time to correct mistakes and blend it all together with highly diluted basic natto black color. Be careful not to overdo it because it's just bring it to the start. For exhaust I used AK Extreme Color for the first time. And I like it, when you need to paint something quick it's just perfect, looks great and very durable. As usual glass coat for protection and decals and it also blend all fading and shadows together. This kit is very nice relief from other planes as it have a super tiny sheet of decals, not like Phantom or F-15. As I saw some picture, I dry brushed air intakes. It also made mesh details more pronounced. I used stone gray wash again. This kit not really gives you a lot of options for different colors. Except if you want to make it really heavily weathered. But it wasn't the case as client requested to keep it mostly clean. Moment of truth and yeah, mask worked well. A little bit too much, but it can be easily fixed with brush. And with really easy landing gear assembly, kit was finished. And what can I say? For old kit, it's very very nice. Some lack of details, but overall I really like how it looks in the end. And if you like it too, press like, dislike if you don't, write a comment, what do you think about it and ask questions if you have one. Subscribe and share and see you next time.